Macho Man, Mr. John Lampley on vocals tonight. <laughs> Lewis. Oh, my friend Lewis. Oh, Stephen. Oh, my friend Lewis. We have two lovely guests tonight uh, from the Today Show uh -huh. over on the NBC uh, network over there. Savannah Guthrie is here. Yeah, She's yeah, got a yeah, lovely yeah. new book, Mostly What God Does. We'll get into that in a little bit. And one of my favorite actors, Tim Blake Nelson, will be Ooh. here out here in just one moment. He's got a new book called The City of Blows. Mm -hmm. Folks, now, I'm, I'm sure. It comes as no surprise to you that I like to stay current on what the youths are up to. And unfortunately, these days, it's mostly tweeting that I look mid. But, <laughs> that means, but there's a hot new youth trend sweeping the younglings, and I'll tell you all about it in my segment. That's Yeet Dabbing on Fleek, fam! <laughs> now, I'm actually, actually, I'm being informed that we've been doing this segment for so long that every word in that title is now out of date, so... <laughs> That's Yeet Dabbing on Fleek Fam is being brought into 2024 and rebranded as That's Gat Spill the Tea, Baby Girl, Skimmity Toilet. <laughs> now, <laughs> don't know what any of that means. Right now, <laughs> the word on young people's minds is words because Gen Z is bringing back reading. I was. <laughs> that was great. That was great. I was not aware that reading ever stopped. It says, right here on the teleprompter I am reading. Now, apparently, a viral corner of TikTok called BookTok has made reading cool again. As one bookfluencer described it, I think people my age are craving something more authentic. What's more real than books? Exactly. What could be more real than this wardrobe that contains a door into a magical land where time stops and there's a lion who's also Jesus? You know, real. But young people's novel obsession <laughs> might be less about the reading and more about looking like you're reading, because for single men, hot guy books are the hot new accessory. <laughs> Here's the deal. If a guy is carrying around books is hot now, a lot of people better apologize to this guy. <laughs> it's going to be OK, buddy. <laughs> Just not like for 44 years. <laughs> Guys are even uh, using books on the dating apps where men are ditching selfies with puppies to pose with female-coded books. You hear that, guys? No more tigers, no more fish. The hot Tinder pic now is showing the ladies that you caught a really big, are you there, God, it's me, Margaret. <laughs> Gen Z and millennial women are also getting booky with it. Kendall Jenner recently posted this picture of her reading on the beach and this one with a Joan Didion book. Is this how the kids are reading now? <laughs> on all fours? Hey, can I read your copy of Odyssey? Sure. Assume the position. <laughs> In fact, according to a recent study, both men and women find reading to be the biggest green flag behavior. Well, as a lifelong bookworm and also a lover of books on tape, so I'm also a bit of a tapeworm. <laughs> I'm so excited that the younger generations are falling in love with a written word. Here to explain this literary youth trend is my writer and board-certified young person, Eliana Quartler. Eliana Quartler, everybody. <laughs> Eliana. There you go. Eliana, uh, hi. Hi, Steve. Or as they say in books, hi, Steve, she said. <laughs> Eliana, you're young. And single. I've heard that. So tell me. What, what is the book all the kids are into these days? Great question, Steve. Books slap. And the hot book that we kiddies simply can't help but stan is War and Peace. <laughs> really? Tolstoy? That's impressive. What, what, what do you think of it? Well, obviously, um, I loved the war, mm -hmm. but also, like, do not sleep on the and peace. <laughs> okay, but what... What do you like about it? I mean, it's pretty heavy stuff. It is really heavy. It made my arms look so toned when I posed with it for my Tinder profile. Eliana, that's, that's Kendall Jenner. No, that's me, Steve. Remember? Single me. Oh, right, right. Well, did you just buy War and Peace so you could take pictures with it on the beach? Um, no, professor. I also took pictures with it on a ski slope and... <laughs> On the marquee of the beautiful Ed Sullivan Theater. Eliana. Eliana, are you even reading this? Yes. I mean, I can't. Eliana, 
This is a, a hollowed out book with your phone in it. No spoilers! Are you just using books to try to find a date? No, Steve, I'm also using The Late Show. Why do you think I'm out here? It's a real green flag to be kind to the elderly. <laughs> Do you need me to help you sort your medicines, sir? No, no, I need you to focus. I'd love to on whether anyone in the audience is hot and single. <laughs> well, you, you, you cannot hit on my audience. You're right, you're right. That would be unprofessional. Hot singles should just scan this cute, <laughs> this QR code. Can we please just talk about reading? Oh, right, reading. I love reading, right. I never knew about it before. Eliana, you went to Yale. So did Brett Kavanaugh. You think that bitch can read? Okay, it's a fair, it's a fair point. Eliana, do, do you have even a single thing to tell me about young people in books? I do, Steve. For as Leo Tolstoy famously wrote in War and Peace, yeah. the strongest of all warriors. Oh, you did read it should scan this QR code. <laughs> the stronger, the better. I kind of like to be carried around. I really need this, Steve. My writer, Eliana Cortler, everybody. We'll be right back with Savannah Guthrie.